cities may be debating reparations, but here's why most Americans oppose the idea. Cities may be debating reparations, but here's why most Americans oppose the idea. In about a dozen cities in the state of California have renewed hopes for an eventual national policy to compensate for slavery. But after decades of lobbying and three years of a national reckoning over race, Americans overall remain strongly opposed to the idea. When Tatisha Natita began polling about it several years ago, he expected money would be the biggest issue or perhaps the workability of such a complex undertaking. It turns out those are the smallest concerns among the two thirds of Americans who say they are against cash payments to the descendants of slaves. Two thirds of Americans say they are against cash payments to the descendants of slaves. Two thirds of Americans say they are against cash payments for the descendants of slaves. Americans don't believe descendants of slaves deserve reparations. The political science professor at the University of Massachusetts plans more research to get exactly why people think that. The most common reason opponent cites is it's impossible to place a monetary value on the impact of slavery. It's impossible to place a monetary value on the impact of slavery. So what you're saying is Africans in America should get nothing. So since you can't put a monetary value on slavery, don't give us anything. Interesting. Y'all didn't say that for the European Jews, though. Y'all didn't say that for the European Jews, though. Y'all didn't say that for the European Jews, though. But I digress. Natita and also the Pew Research Center found about three quarters or more of white adults oppose reparations. The majority of Latinos oppose reparations. The majority of Asian Americans oppose reparations. Wow. The majority of whites oppose reparations. The majority of Asians oppose reparations. The majority of Latinos oppose reparations. But you don't have no problem with Ukraine getting billions. You don't have no problem with Israel getting billions. You See, what's really going on here is racism. It's not that we don't deserve reparations because they give it to everybody else. It's not that we don't deserve reparations. They give it to everybody else. It's not that we don't deserve reparations. They give it to everybody else. The issue is they hate black people. The issue is everybody in America hates black people. The issue is they don't value black life. If I don't value black life. If I hate black people and I don't value black life, if I hate black people and I don't value black life, why would I support reparations? Why would I support any kind of help? And you know what makes it so sad? The anti-African Latinos, I'm not talking about my Latino Pan-Africanists. I'm not talking about my Latino Pan-Africanists. I consider them family. I'm not talking about my Latino Pan-Africanists. But the anti-African Latinos you benefit from our struggle. The Asians, you benefit from our struggle. The Arabs, you benefit from our struggle. The East Indians, you benefit. You wouldn't be what you are if you didn't climb on top of our back and benefit from our struggle. So how dare you benefit from our civil rights, benefit from our federal laws, benefit from our struggles, benefit for our liberation struggle. And then after you benefit, and rob us of our resources and opportunities. After the Latinos benefited from black people's struggle and robbed us of our resources and opportunities. After the Arabs and Asians benefited from black people's struggle and robbed us of our resources and opportunities. After the Mexicans and European Jews benefited from the black struggle and robbed us of our resources and opportunities. You got the audacity to turn around and say we don't deserve reparations. You got the audacity to turn around and say we don't deserve reparations. You got the audacity to turn around and say we don't deserve reparations. I keep telling y'all, y'all better stop with this people of color bullshit. Y'all better stop with this people of color bullshit. You have nothing in common with these people. Nobody cares about you. Nobody likes you. 
Stop with the people of color shit. Stop with the people of color. Stop with the multicultural. Stop, stop, stop. None of them want you to get reparations, even though all of them benefited from your struggles. None of them want you to get reparations, but all of them benefited from your struggle. None of them, none of these people of color, you love to shout out, you love to claim, you love to speak for. Two thirds of all Latinos don't want you to get reparations. Two thirds of all white people don't want you to get reparations. Two thirds of all Asians don't want you to get reparations. And I can guarantee you two thirds of East Indians, two thirds of Native Americans, two thirds of everybody else don't want you to get no reparations either. And guess what, black man? Guess what, black man? The snow bunny you sleeping with? She don't think we should get reparations either. The snow bunny you sleeping with? She don't think we should get reparations either. The snow bunny you sleeping with? She don't think you should get reparations either. Listen to this. Listen to this. You can't take what we know now and try to superimpose yourself onto 150 years ago. He says racism was a sin. Slavery was wrong. But you can't try to make amends for it at this point. It makes no sense. Did y'all hear what this devil just said? Did you hear what this pale face just said? He said, yeah, racism was a sin. Slavery was wrong. But to try to make amends for it right now makes no sense. You hear that? You hear that? Slavery was the worst human disaster of all time. The worst forced transmigration of all time. The worst dehumanizing experience in the history of man from which we still suffer. Every problem we have as African people can be tied to the slavery. While we ain't got no wealth because white people had a 250 year head start. While we ain't got no institutions because white people had a 250 year head start and his was bothering me the most. His was bothering me the most. Why are white people who are responsible for slavery asking brown and yellow people what they think about slavery? What do a Chinese got to do with slavery in America? I don't give a damn if it's a Chinese American, Korean American. That ain't none of your damn business. They didn't build America for free. We built America for free. They live off my blood. And who the hell is the white man to go and ask the yellow man what you think about reparations? And then you go to the Latinos. What you asking them for? They didn't build America. No disrespect. Latinos didn't build America, but they damn sure benefit off of black people's blood, sweat and tears. Most of them black themselves, but they hate who they are. Most Latinos are black themselves, but they hate their African blood. What you asking them for, whether or not they think we are due reparations? They didn't build America for free. They didn't build America for free. We built America for free. But the reason America is asking brown people and red people and yellow people. The reason America is asking brown people and red people and yellow people because they want America to look multicultural, although it's still anti-African. See, America can be multicultural and anti-African. Multiculturalism is the new face of white supremacy. Listen to this. Here goes somebody else. We are all immigrants whether it was voluntary or forced. Did y'all hear that? We are all immigrants. She said, we all immigrants. How the hell can you be a forced immigrant? Nobody needs a handout. Reparations is not a handout. Reparations is restitution. If white people don't believe in handouts, why did America 
give free land to poor white people. If white people don't believe in handouts, why did America give the GI Bill to white people? If white people don't believe in handouts, why does most welfare checks go to white people? If white people don't believe in handouts, why did the Federal Housing Authority give y'all low interest loans to move your broke white ass into a white suburb? If white people don't believe in handouts, why did Barack Obama give trillions of dollars to Wall Street? If white people don't believe in handouts you hypocritical ass people if white people don't believe in handouts you hypocritical ass people then why is your entire history in america a history of handouts from the government lord have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy when the bank gives a white person a loan to buy a house or build a business, when the bank gives the white person a loan to buy a house or build a business, when the bank give a white person a loan to buy a house or build a business, that's a handout. You're being given money that you did not earn. You have to pay it back, but you're being given money you did not earn. Black people never get those opportunities. Black people never get those opportunities. They said, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Interesting. Interesting. He says, a majority of our sample tends to think that we made steady progress towards greater equality and wealth between family. We made steady progress. Excuse me. One of the white universities just put out a report on the wealth gap and income gap between the black family and white family. We just had a report put out on the wealth and income gap between the black and the whites. And according to your universities, according to your universities, it would take 225 years. It would take 225 years and a whole lot of government intervention for black wealth to equal white wealth. What the hell you white people talking about? What the hell you white people talking about? What the hell you white people talking about? And this is why we got to be careful treating black millionaires as black progress. We have to be careful about treating black millionaires as black progress because America is creating all these black millionaires to hide the black poverty, to hide the black disenfranchisement, to hide the lack of availability of wealth in the black community. They're using our celebrities to distract away from the real economic conditions of black America. If you don't like what I have to say, get off my damn live. If you don't like what I have to say, get your ass up off my live. If you don't like what I have to say, get your ass off that life. They're using millionaires and billionaires to distract away from the poverty, the homelessness and the unemployment. Millionaires are tokens. Billionaires are tokens. Don't let a token speak for you. Celebrities are tokens. Don't let a token speak for you. I tell y'all this, if white people could re-enslave Africans the same way they did 400 years ago, they would do. If white people could re-enslave black people like they, they would do it. They have no remorse over slavery. There is no such thing as white guilt. And I need you all to stop, stop trying to humanize racism, white guilt, white fragility, white guilt, white fragility, white guilt, white for ain't no such thing as white guilt. Ain't no such thing as white fragility. Ain't no such thing as white guilt. Ain't no such thing as white fragility. Ain't no such thing as white guilt. Ain't no such thing as white fragility. Most Americans oppose reparations. But the Japanese 
sure got theirs. After World War II, though, Japanese didn't oppose the reparations after World War II. I don't hear y'all opposing the reparations America pays to Israel for a Holocaust that didn't even happen over here. Why is America paying reparations to Israel? The Holocaust didn't happen over here. Most victims of the Holocaust are dead. Most victims of the Holocaust are deceased. Most victims of the Jewish Holocaust are gone, but America still paying Israel. Israel still exists. Why don't we dissolve Israel? Why don't we dissolve the state of Israel since most victims of the Holocaust are deceased? Why are European Jews who did not suffer Adolf Hitler? Why are European Jews who never suffered Adolf Hitler still have the right to a state of their own stolen from the Palestinians called Israel? Why do European Jews still have the right to a state of their own called Israel stolen from the Palestinians if you should not get reparations unless you yourself was a Holocaust victim. Most people in Israel are not Holocaust victims, but I don't hear nobody talking about them. You know why? Because they are opposed to black life. They are opposed to black existence. They are opposed to black progress. That's what the real problem is. What is racism? A group system created by white people designed and implemented to disenfranchise, destabilize and marginalize African people. White people want absolute control of what? Absolute domination of what? Resources, privileges and opportunities. The reason they are against reparations is reparations will provide African people with resources, privileges, and opportunities. Racism is designed to eliminate your resources, privileges, and opportunities. So of course they're going to oppose it. And you got black people fighting for immigrants. I'm not talking about my African immigrants. I'm talking about non-African immigrants. You got black people fighting for immigration. The Asians are over here to replace you. The Mexicans are here to replace you. The East Indians, the Chinese, everybody's here to replace you. And you fighting for immigrants. And soon when they get here, they tell the world black people don't deserve reparations. How the fuck would you know? How the fuck would you know? You can't even speak English. How the fuck would you know what I deserve? How the fuck do you know what I deserve? You just showed up on my back, on my struggle, on rights that I fought for. Everything you get as a non-white person in America comes to you by virtue of the fact that black people struggled, bled, and died for it. Get off the live. Send you to the block point. I think that's a Caucasian. Why is the pale man on my live anyway? Why is the pale man on my live anyway? You are racist. Why are you on my live? Where you at? Let me get you ready. Let me get you out of here. I don't need no hug, baby. My ancestors got me. I don't need no hug. See, the problem with us as a people is we're never serious about things that matter. The problem with us as a people is we're not serious about the things that matter. The problem with us as a people is we are not serious about the things that matter. The problem with us as a people, everything is funny. Everything is funny. When we get killed, it's funny. When we get beat by the police, it's funny. I posted a video of a black school teacher having to fight her female student a couple days ago. I posted a video of a black female teacher having to fight one of her students the other day, and all y'all talked about is she ain't have no panties on. And the sister did have underwear on. It might have been a thong, but women wear thongs. Ain't nothing wrong with her having a thong on. Ain't nothing wrong with her having a thong on. She didn't know she was going to have to fight that day. But all y'all talked about was she didn't have no drawers on. That, that was the most important thing. That was the most important thing for y'all. She didn't have no drawers on. What about the fact she should not have had to fight a student? What about that? What about that? 
but we are not serious. We are a joke. And since we like to joke, the world treats us like a joke. And since we like to joke, the world treats us like a joke. Everybody's laughing at us because we laugh at ourselves. No institutions and ain't thinking about it. No organization ain't thinking about it. Spend all your money on garbage and beg the white man for your needs. Spend all your money on garbage and beg the white man for your needs. We are a psychologically dominated people. We are a psychologically hopeless people. We are a psychologically devastated people. We don't believe in each other. We do not believe in each other. So brothers and sisters, I'm about to hop off. I'm about to hop off. I'm about to hop off. We're going to talk about it tonight. We're going to have a community conversation tonight at I Love Chicken and Waffles. Get there early to get a good seat. Get there early to get a good seat. Get there early to get a good seat tonight. Monday night's main event, April the 24th. Free lecture. No tickets. No tickets are needed. Just show up. You must purchase a meal to stay. You must purchase a meal to stay. I love chicken and waffles, 1170 Highland Avenue. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit your cash app. We need your financial support, brothers and sisters. We need your financial support. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. Hit the PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. If you need to reach me, 215-989-9858. You need to reach me, 215-989-9858. You need to reach me, 215-989-9858. Louisville, Kentucky, Juneteenth Sunday, I will see you. Louisville, Kentucky, Juneteenth Sunday, I will see you. Louisville, Kentucky, Juneteenth Sunday, I will see you. Huntsville, Alabama, June 11th. Huntsville, Alabama, June 11th. Huntsville, Alabama, June 11th. FDMG, I'm thinking we're going to bypass the festival this summer. FDMG update, I think we're going to bypass the festival this summer. FDMG update, I think we're going to bypass the festival this summer. Because the festival is a very big expenditure. The festival is a very big expenditure. We're going to bypass the festival. And I'm thinking about a grand opening Kwanzaa week. I'm thinking about an FDMG grand opening Kwanzaa week. Seven days of Kwanzaa. You can register for day one. You can register for day two. You can register for day three. You can register for day four. You can register for day five. You can register for day six. You can register for day seven. I think we're going to do seven days of Kwanzaa. Grand opening for the community, seven days of Kwanzaa. Grand opening for the community, seven days of Kwanzaa. Grand opening for the community. That's what I think we're going to do. Not fully decided. Not fully decided. Not fully decided, but I think that's what we're going to do. Oklahoma City, I should be coming to you in September. Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Where my Oklahoma Africans at? Where my Oklahoma Africans at? Where my Oklahoma Africans at? I think I'll be in Oklahoma in September. But today it's all about California. Today it's all about Los Angeles and San Bernardino. Today it's all about Los Angeles and San Bernardino. Today it's all about Los Angeles and San Bernardino. This is the King Kong of Consciousness signing out. Peace and one love.